When restoring your car, you know, sometimes you want to go for a little bit of a custom look or you might have a situation where you want, you know, a traditional like hose clamp kind of gets in the way or it kind of breaks up the look of things. One case, you know, when I was doing a Y block recently, you know, the bypass hose, it had, you know, it's relatively short, but just trying to get the hose clamps on there and look good, it just kind of just didn't fit right. So a product that I thought was, you know, really neat, and, you know, I had my doubts about it to begin with, was the power grip hose clamps. These power grip hose clamps are, you know, effectively like a big piece of shrink tubing. When they were first proposed to me that, uh, by the guys down at the auto parts store, they said, you know, these things like work really good. They've, you know, made their real inroads in the trucking industry, but uh, they'll, they, they give a real custom look to things without, you know, having to have an actual wire, a uh, screw type hose clamp or a Corbin style clamp. It provides a real neat way to do things. So we're going to do this out on the out on the table here just so you can see better. But normally, you know, we do this on the engine. And the power grip clamps come in a cardboard tube. In order to get them off the cardboard tube, you just kind of you crush the cardboard tube. And then you can remove the, the clamp itself. You put that around your hose. Put your hose on your fitting and slide the clamp into position. I like to use a little bit of heat shield. What this does for me is it allows me to actually um, heat up this clamp, it shrink, like I said, it's like a piece of sh uh, shrink tubing. So we'll use a heat gun to actually shrink this up. But the, with a little bit of a heat shield fabricated from a piece of uh, sheet metal, we can actually, you know, heat this and then direct the heat towards the shield itself to get the, uh, the entire circumference of the clamp heated up. Then we'll use the little heat gun action to actually shrink that up. And the great thing about that now is we've got the clamp on there, it shrunk up, it's on there tight. But now every time the engine cycles, every time the car gets warm, get, you know, you bring the car up to operating temperature, that clamp will constrict a little bit more and tighten up if it can. And uh, so we know that it's not going to get loose. When I first started using these, I thought to myself, wow, I don't know. I don't trust that. So I always kept a, you know, a spare clamp in the car just in case. And in probably the last 10 years, I've never had one fail on me. You may run into a situation where, you know, it comes time where you actually have to take one of these off. The easiest way to take one off is to, you don't want to be, you know, using a knife or something sharp here because then you run the risk of cutting your hose and then you need to replace that. But if you just use a soldering iron, and we'll let that heat up for a second, you use a soldering iron, you can simply just apply that and that will like actually burn right through this clamp and allow us to remove this.
And that's it. It's a really handy clamp. Works well for these applications. They usually come with a little bit of writing on them. If you're going for a real custom look, you can usually just take a little solvent. That'll take the writing right off. Great product. Use it on your next project.